What's up, my dudes? This is a tutorial on how to make your own altar cloth. Now, I'm going to be starting with this base that I used to use as an altar cloth, and I'm going to be transferring it onto this white apron. The reason why I'm using this instead of the original cloth is just because I want it a little bit bigger, and also I have this matching strap that will go with it. These are going to be the fabrics that I use. It's going to be this moon and star fabric, and the galaxy star fabric on the other side. So the first thing that I do is I lay out the altar cloth template that I'm going to be using. You can use whatever type of template you want to. I'm using this bandana just because it's what I've used in the past, but if you want to, you can just measure out a certain size and use it that way. bar because I don't know where my ruler is but just marking out these sides from the other side is how I can see the measurements and then once I'm done I flip it over check the measurements and do it over again um, like I said you could just measure this out properly but this is just the way that I tend to do it also this is a little bit more awkward because it's on a table I usually do this either out in the field or just on my bed so it's kind of hard to do the angles properly, but I did my best with this. Making sure everything is lined up properly so I can add the seam allowance and also add the extra bit to fold over. So I'm going to be sewing this inside out so the edges are sealed inside. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that's just the way that I tend to do it. Cutting out the lines that I drew. And the following one, I know, so entertaining. Good thing I sped this up. So now that the template is done, I have the very basic shape that I'm going for. I'm just folding it up, making sure everything is square. Um, I did a pretty decent job on the edges, so I don't really need to worry about that. It's also just a template, and then just using the bandana to make sure everything is to the right proportions. Like I said, I wanted it a little bit bigger, so that's why the template is bigger. And since the back fabric is going to be the galaxy, I started with that first and just finding a good place to set the template on and then I'm going to cut it out the whole sheet. I tend to do this rather than measuring it out just because it seems a bit more consistent. If I stretch the fabric the wrong way maybe it will be off center. But yeah, I usually just use these magnets, and if it's a smaller piece, I will use pins also. But just for cutting it out, making sure I leave enough for the seam allowance, and just making sure everything is straight. If you would like to get some of these magnets, these are just fridge magnets from a pack that I found at Walmart. I just took the ornaments off of them and just cleaned up the glue that was on it, and there you go. So yeah, just cutting out the fabric, making sure everything is lined up properly. Um, as I was doing this, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit smaller, but I thought it was fine. Also, of course, the cat has to be in the video somehow. Now that I'm done with that, doing the same thing with the galaxy fabric. Now this is particularly why I folded it the specific way that I did because the Galaxy fabric is more stretchy, so if I would have had it normally just pinned up, it might have been out of place. I'm struggling with the magnet a bit here. But then I am checking the measurements, making sure everything is square. The magnets make it very easy to do so because they clip together. And then just finding out the overall size that I would need. Um, I've 
measured it beforehand, but this is about the size that I would need for the ribbon. Um, I have had it to cut a few times, and the first time I cut it too short, but this seems to be the best one. And yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm trying to fold it over or something. But yeah, just checking the size of the tie-offs and making sure everything is straight. So now that it's square and everything is done, take out the template, line everything up to make sure that it's all even. As you can see, the stretchy fabric was a little bit off center, but it'll be fine. Um, for smaller projects, I will tend to use these. I don't even think I used them during this project, uh, maybe on one of the sides, but that was it. And using some red fabric just because it was already on the needle. And I'm measuring out the full length that will actually be sewn four times and then I usually do another half to a full length just to make sure I have enough for knotting and everything. This is I think a doll needle or a leather needle. It is a little bit bigger than a normal needle just because I like to group it into mass clumps and then sew it through instead of just doing one by one. And that's just the simple way that I sew it. Um, like I said, you can use these if you would like to, but I, yeah, I only use it for the corners. But this is how I sew. It's not the best way, but it's the way that works for me. And it's a lot less time consuming than doing it one by one. Also, I can make sure all the spacing is even. And I tied this off even though I was supposed to leave it open so I can push everything through. But I just opened it back up and turned it inside out so this step really isn't necessary but I figured I would show a way that you can do it if you were just having it one faced. Um, if you're going to turn it inside out you need to leave a space at the bottom so that you can pull everything through. tried to do it with this side and it was not enough so I had to open up the first thing like I said and then just shoving it through and you can really get to you can really see what your project is looking like from here um, it's a little bit of a struggle to get it out because this is a large piece of fabric but just getting it out and just making sure everything is straight so just check the edges there were a few places where I needed to go back over because these seams were not aligned properly, so I just had to undo that and re-thread it and re-sew it back, but everything looked better. And I was going to do it across the middle just to flatten it out a little bit so it's not as poofy, but it'll be fine. <laughs> 